last week we sat here and we warned you about, about Washington, yes. and then we were right about that. However, the team that I ultimately settled on for Survivor, the Seattle Seahawks, decided to lose both tackles in the game and made Tutu Atwell and Puka Nakua, rookie of the year, Puka Nakua, yeah. rookie of the year, make them look like uh, Hall of Fame wide receivers. So my, my, my Survivor pools are, were carnage last week as a result. However, as a public service to everybody, I'm going to continue to go through the process. I do, I do have one entry left, so I'm going to obviously still continue to do this, and I love Survivor, and you can certainly rebuy in a couple of uh, Survivor pools as well. So this week, it's, it's an interesting week because I think the game that I'm treading carefully on this week and that I think people might be attracted to based on some of the line movement, I think, is Detroit. Like, are the mm. Lions as good? I mean, what, what the Lions did in Kansas City, I think people are going to expect them to like live up to that level every week. And while Cross and the other tackle might be out for the Seahawks and the secondary looked terrible, like Geno was bad, like they have to be better than they were last week, right? Now, like now you're yes. you're laying and you're going on the road and everyone's sky high about the Lions. They're a Super Bowl contender. I, I don't know. I'd be careful here. If the line, if Kadarius Tony catches that pass and the Chiefs win at the end of that game, we're not talking about the lines like this, which is silly, right? Because it's the point of Great watching point. football games is to, is to see what happens and then analyze that, not always look at the final score, right? And so I'm with you on this one. I think Seattle probably covers this game as well. I would not pick the Lions. Now, and I think there's the other, like, there's a, a school of thought out there. A lot of people are just fading Arizona every week. And while that may work, this I think it's kind of another risk reward type pick this week with the Giants because if you do take the Giants and they do win, and I think a lot of people are going to take the Giants, uh, you 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 get rid of a bad team and you move on. But again, a lot of people don't like taking road teams. Certainly, people don't like taking teams that lost forty to nothing the week before. Um, teams that have problems on the offensive line, um, teams that might have problems at quarterback. At some point, I think this year, Arizona is going to knock a large portion of their survivor pool out. <laughs> Maybe this is the week. But again, if you're right and you do take the Giants, you're, you're in a good position yeah. because you knocked out a bad team. How much of the survivor do you just say, look, week one was rough. Let's just take the bills. Like, well, let's just guarantee ourselves, not guarantee, yeah. there's no guarantee in the NFL, but let's let's just take the bills as their big home favorites. Like, let's just do it and and get a win and and not have to sweat something out. I think I think that is a a good school of thought. So depending on how many entries you have left, and depending on what you really need to do is figure out when you would use the bills. Is there a week that you really need to save the bills for? Because there are some like circus survivor, you, uh, you Thanksgiving is its, is, its, is its own week, so you don't necessarily want to burn the Cowboys because the Cowboys play on Thanksgiving, and you need to have options. You need to have outs for Thanksgiving. So some some leagues make you pick two games a week, so you're going to want to use a really good team that week. So again, it all t it all depends on how your league is ultimately formed in the rules. But I certainly would not be opposed to using the Bills this week because. I am not as high on the Bills, I think, as a lot of people were. And I would expect them to beat the Raiders at home this week. And maybe you don't necessarily want them later in the year when they play the yeah. Dolphins or they play the Patriots or they play the Chiefs or whomever else. So we'll see. I ultimately landed on the Broncos. I talked about the reasons why I like the Broncos earlier in the show. Again, I, I just think it's more of a play against Washington. I don't yeah. think the commanders are, are very good. And... It's an opportunity, kind of like with the Giants. You get you, you burn a team that isn't one of the upper echelon teams in the league, and you're at home looking to avoid going 0-2 against a bad team. So I know the, the Washington defense is good, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm going to land on, on, on Denver here and hope that uh, they do get to 2-0. Denver feels far more desperate for a win than even the Chiefs or the Bengals. Like the Chiefs and Bengals, if they lose this weekend and they go 0-2, you still wouldn't change your opinion about their no. capability to win the Super Bowl or even just make the playoffs. If the Broncos start 0-2, it's like, it's more of the same. Oh, that same Broncos as last season. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.